This is a video application note to show you how to use KMI's MPE controllers with GeoShred and GeoSwarm. KMI's MPE controllers, the QNexus, the Kboard C, and the Kboard Pro 4 can be used to control GeoShred Control with the Pro Upgrade, GeoShred Play with the Pro Upgrade, and GeoShred Pro. When you register your product on KeithMcMillanInstruments.com, you will be given an opportunity to claim your bundle. You'll receive a code for your discounted GeoSwam bundle and a link to install GeoShred Control. Alternatively, this QR code will take you to where in the App Store you can find GeoShred Control. Let's install! Launch GeoShred and it will ask you if you have a promotional code. Enter the code and you'll be taken to a page in the store where the discount offer is presented. Tap on the button with the price and you will be directed to Apple's e-commerce flow. If you already own GeoShred Pro or GeoShred Play, you can go to the GeoShred store and at the top you will find a redeem code button that will enable you to enter a code so that you can make your discounted bundle purchase. Now let's see how to set up the KMI MPE controllers to work with GeoShred. For the Kboard Pro 4, configuration software can be found at keithmcmillan.com. We're using the Kboard Pro 4 editor for macOS. Here are the Kboard Pro 4 configuration settings that we found work well for GeoShred. Note that we're using MPE. Here's the desktop setup. The Kboard Pro 4 is connected to the iPad with a camera connection kit. Here's the configuration in GeoShred. Under Menu, MIDI, the KMI MPE MIDI configuration has been selected. And under the DIN button, MIDI in from the KMI controller has been selected. For the QNexus, configuration software can be found at keithmcmillan.com. We're using the QNexus editor for macOS. Here are the QNexus configuration settings that we found work well for GeoShred. Note that we're using MPE. Here's the desktop setup. The QNexus is connected to the iPad with a camera connection kit. And the QNexus is configured with tilt off, pressure on, and velocity on. Here's the configuration in GeoShred. Under Menu, MIDI, the KMI MPE MIDI configuration has been selected. And under the DIN button, MIDI in from the KMI controller has been selected.
For the Keyboard C configuration software can be found at keithmcmillan.com. We're using the Keyboard C editor for macOS. Here are the Keyboard C settings that we found work well with GeoShred. Note that it's configured for MPE, the velocity sensitivity is 25, and the pressure sensitivity is 15. Here's the desktop setup. The Keyboard C is connected to the iPad with a camera connection kit, and the Keyboard C is configured with tilt off, pressure on, and velocity on. Here's the configuration in GeoShred. Under Menu, MIDI, the KMI MPE MIDI configuration has been selected. And under the DIN button, MIDI in from the KMI controller has been selected.